Ladies and gentlemen, this amateur super panel weight panel. It's set for five two minute rounds, and it is for the Aries Fight Series Juniors Muay Thai Championship. It is sponsored by our friends right here at the Cotton Eye Joe. The introducing first, your challenger. He's fighting out of the blue corner. He steps into the cage tonight with a record of four wins and two losses. His height, five feet, ten inches, and his weight, 140 pounds. He trains with Apex PJJ, and he fights out of Cleveland, Tennessee. They call him Pretty Boy. This is Alexander Persinger. And his opponent across the cage and fighting out of the red corner. He steps into the cage tonight at a height of 5 feet 8 inches, having weighed in at 139.6 pounds. He trains with London Martial Arts, and he fights out of London, Kentucky. And tonight, in the Aries Fight Series cage, he presents to you an undefeated record of three wins and zero losses. He is your reigning. Yeah, Trayton brought a couple fans with them tonight yeah, here from Kentucky. Will be Josh yeah, this building is loud, and it was loud early ever since the intermission, though. It has had a big fight feel for every one of these contests. Josh Amato controlling the action here. Pressure immediately in his face. Does look as Prestonger is enjoying a bit of a reach advantage. It is going to be hard with the pace and the speed of these guys to even yeah. try to do a play-by-play. -play. Gotta let some of these exchanges speak for themselves. The challenger's looking good though here. Persinger's kind of getting off to a nice start. Mm -hmm. But there's that power that Byerly put on display when he won this title. Byerly's using good footwork, staying out of range a lot of the power punches, but yeah, the pressure of of Alexander seems to be getting the best at least so far. Oh, he's long too. Persinger is long. Yeah, Persinger good hold on those one twos. Yeah, he's using that reach well. Yeah, Persinger doing a good job of controlling the distance here. Good counter left hook from the top. You would expect both of these athletes looking to be, well, they look to be in uh, peak condition. 20 seconds ready here in the first. Justin Mato's got to get on his bike there. Nice three, three strike combo there from the challenger. Return fire there by Byron. Round one concludes. That was fast and furious action. matches in the books. Let's give these men a hand. That was an impressive pace by both kids. If they can keep this up, this is going to be a, a tough, tough one to score. Yeah. Two game competitors, obviously, for Trayton Byerly. There's no shortage of people lining up to try and challenge him for his title. There is a shortage of people lining up to take a fight with my broadcast colleague, Andrew Stewart. Andrew, I know it's frustrating. Obviously, the main event fell off uh, that you were one half of tonight due to uh, Austin Linker's knee injury. 
That being said, it really does feel like 2024 is going to be something very special for Andrew Stewart and the Stewart squad. What a... Um, how, how do you kind of manage the mental side of this? I'm sure it's a letdown. I know you can't be thrilled with it, but looking ahead to the future, uh, set, setting your sights on, on the next goal. Well, I, I can't control uh, who shows up and when they die. I control myself, so I try not to let any of those outside influences affect me. Uh, nothing I can do about it. I'll just continue training, continue working, get ready for the next one. Uh, I trust Aries and my management team to, to get me get me opponent and be ready to go for the next one. Yeah, it sounds like you've got the, uh, the mental side of the fight game to deal with because when it comes to the physical side of the fight game, it's, it's a high-level situation. This bout right here is a high-level situation. Oh. Trayton Byerly, the champion, trying to defend his title. Wow, we are trading lever. Man, these guys are going to town. Persinger ate some shots there, and he, he wore them very well. Yeah, he kind of walked right through some of those punches. If he's going to play this pressure game, he's going to have to do that here and there. Once it gets in close, you really see the hand yep. speed of Byerly. At range, though, Persinger is having some success. Man, watching a striking display like this, can't help but think about Bryce Warner, you know? I know that's yeah. a training partner of yours. Uh, you're seeing some shades of uh, Bryce and these young fighters. Yeah, Bryce is another young, young, talented kid. He just makes I it look so easy. so talented, yeah. He, these kids, they, they, they're effortlessly throwing a lot of these combinations. Their, their footwork looks really good. Uh, I'm, I'm extremely impressed with these kids at their age group, just like Bryce. Bryce is, these kids are cut from the same cloth as Bryce. The future for MMA is and uh, combat very sports in general. Yeah. Yeah, it's a scary notion to see this level of technique and skill and then see the age and just think, how does this project into the future? These guys are going to be hell on wheels, so to speak. And we've got a very closely contested bout here with about 15 seconds left in round number two. Byerly with the white trunks is the champion. Persinger in the baby blue and pink the challenger. Wow, nice body kick there from the challenger. And obviously, we've seen more of Trayton Byerly in the Aries cage as we take a look at some of the action there from round two. I'll revisit that point in a moment. Xander Persinger only competing once in the Aries cage where he won with a stoppage victory over Audie Baker. Uh, that was some time ago yeah, as well. Yeah, I remember that. It was a, a, yeah. a scary performance. You really got a sense that his range was going to cause problems for a lot of different guys. But at six and one, you know, he's doing that. He's doing that all over the map. And he's doing it here tonight in an Aries title fight that through two is very closely contested. You can see both corners giving instructions to their fighters, trying to make in-fight adjustments. Yeah, I'm not really sure how those two rounds have been scored. Me neither. How hard is it to make an in-fight adjustment and listen to your corners in the heat of battle? Uh, well, I haven't had to do it too many times. <laughs> uh, I haven't seen had too many in between rounds yet. Yeah, I did. I did. Uh, I walked into that one. Yeah. <laughs> so I don't know. Well, let us know. Yeah, I'll let you know yeah. when it happens. Remember what I said. I don't know, guys. I'd have to go with Pressinger. Pressinger on the second. The first one I, it was too close for me. Pressinger is using his range really well right now. If you're starting to slow down, I think that range is going to play more of a factor. Seen more picks from Xander too in the beginning of this third, like we saw in the first. Yeah, I think Beverly's going to look to have some, some solid counters. Get the pressure that Pressinger's giving him. Pro action still to come, but it is Junior's tie. Title bout right now that is electrifying the Aries crowd at the world famous Ooh. Cotton Eye Joe. Whoa! Whoa. Pressinger returning the favor here. Halfway through the third. Good explosion out of the champ. And a good answer from the challenger. And anybody who might have looked at this card not knowing these two and said, man, you got a junior's tie title fight right at the top. It's like, yeah, buddy, we do. Because these uh, 
juniors in name only. These guys are just as, as dangerous strikers as you'll find in any Thai boxing, whether it's amateur, adult, or juniors. Challenger seems to be growing in confidence a little bit here in the later part of round three. Some great action here at Cotton Eye Joe. I've received word Francis and Gan who lost tonight. Yeah, I got knocked via out. Knockout, obviously. Yeah, tomorrow. Out for a while. Cheeto Vera, Sean O'Malley. I'll just tell you right now, looking all around the combat sports world, I am proud to be on Spectation Sports, and I'm proud to be calling this one. Trayton Byerly trying to defend his title for the first time, and he has got a stiff challenge right now from Xander Persinger. Championship rounds lie ahead here, gentlemen. It's an extremely competitive fight. Ooh. Yeah, Byerly's coming out with a fire lit under him, it seems. Yeah, this, this, yeah, this round's looking a little different for him. And person all of a sudden looking a little wobbly. Yep. And he can carry it all five rounds. He, he won the title with a round five stoppage. I wonder if that awkward step, you know, it doesn't look like the person here is injured. Maybe he did tweak something, though, because especially he early in this round, now he's settling down. But early in this round, he looked a little off balance. Well, he's been pressing forward this entire time. Oh, oh, oh now, and you know. Maybe not, because Persinger is starting to turn it up here after a, a tough start to the round. You see, he's kind of got the the stirrups there on his guard. Or actually, it's a wide surface area. It's a little different than the champions. Yeah, if he's got anything going on, he's doing a really good job of hiding it. Yep. Real tough kid, both of these kids are. And Byerly wearing the shots well, though. I mean, he, he ate a combo right there that might have dropped a lesser fighter. That is a champion. Nice jab there from the champion, trying to shake out the cobwebs. 15 seconds left in round four. Here's Anders Morris saying, do not wait on him, and I think that's good advice here. Wow, wow, what a round. One round to go, a title hanging in the balance. It's all pros after this one. But we still have three minutes to decide the junior tie Aries Fight Series Championship currently held by Trayton Byerly. And Trayton Byerly here on the replay, you saw it got off to a great start there in round four. Persinger worked his way back into the round and that's to show that kind of mo uh, moxie and guile. Ladies it's so and young. They are yeah. like Very impressive tonight. there from the challengers in the person. not picked this side, this is round number five. The line is drawn in the sand. These two young men deserve for everyone in this building to be up on their feet and cheering them on. Let's welcome them to the line for round number five. Five here. The champion had a lot of 
some big moments in that last round, but I think that the challenger answered well. I don't know if it was enough to steal the round from the champion. I agree that the beginning of that looked a little different than the end of it. And I mean, those first two rounds, guys, that, I, I think... Those so close. Yeah, it's it's really a toss-up. Somebody's got to put their stamp on this round. This could, this could be what it's for. This could, this could be what decides it. We yep. don't know how the judges are, are seeing these rounds. Yeah, happy to not be a judge here on this one. And yeah. Byerly, 15 years old, Persinger, 16. I mean, can you, can, well, can you imagine if these paths cross again? You know, right, this, I mean, right. this, they're already getting five hard rounds as amateurs, as juniors. This may be a special rivalry in the making. I wouldn't be surprised. I'd say these two kids are going to be in the top, top of the uh, oh, uh, fighter oh, pool. Oh, oh. Really good pressure from the challenger. Feels like Byerly's looking for a power counter here. He just can't be too patient, though, because... Yeah, he is, but I think that the, the strike count is, is much more in Persinger's favor right now. Yeah, Persinger's getting his offense off. That is certain. Yeah, I think Byerly's looking for the counter so much that he's getting behind point-wise. I agree. For a challenger. Yep. I think he holds the power advantage. I agree. It seems like when he does land, it's more impactful. But the numbers are not on his side. I would, oh, love, damaging yeah. kick there. Yeah. I would love to see uh, Byerly go to the body a little bit. You just saw Peyton Hayes in the last fight with a straight left to the body having so much success. The champ would benefit from body work, I feel like, to break down this tall guy. Your challenger just switched stances. I think his, his left calf is very compromised. I think he's, if I was there, I'd go back to that well. There it 20 is. Seconds here there it is. Look the at fifth and final, yep. Go. I'll go for that leg. Switching it again. He's having a hard time standing on that. My goodness, this is going to be a sprint here after you hear the clacker. Byerly needed those in the beginning of the spot. Yep. If they ever do see each other again, I think, I think that's going to be something he'll look to implement. Capitalize on, I agree. Yep. These kids throwing. Man, these boys are oh swinging. Oh, my goodness, you got that one. That's worth the price of admission right there, and we still have not gotten to the pro portion of this card. That's why these two kids are at the top. Take a look yeah. at the uh, striking statistics there. It's got Hersinger, 128 significant strikes landed compared to Byerly, 74. Hersinger uh, wow. throwing 251 is just insane. That's insane. Hersinger has a really good does a really good job of using his range. A lot a lot of long strikers like him don't don't use their range well. He he did really well, kept distance really well, uh, and I thought that he closed distance with knees really well against the cage. Uh, I think he had a really good game plan. I think he implemented it well. And I mean, imagine in, in three years he fills out a little bit more too. You know, you, you saw Tyler Jones on the other side. Right. Yeah, that's right. the so skill set is that. there. You know, and uh, yeah, these kids throw a great technique. I just I can see them having a lot of KOs in their future. I, w I just wish I was this driven when I was 15, 16. And how special is Man. it, right? You got these two fighting for a title. You look around tonight. Obviously, the Nashville MMA guys in the house. We're sitting with Andrew Stewart. Ronnie Lawrence is in the mix. Trevor Peak is in the building. Um, Man, it's just it's such a who's who, and you got other pros still to come tonight. This is such great visibility. The Cotton Eye Joe is such a great platform. Spectation Sports, by extension, an amazing platform for these guys to showcase their skills. Um, and this 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 bout really embodied all of that. Yeah, big shout out to Aries Fight Series. They they have done a really good job of identifying talent, and getting them in. Yeah, I agree. Uh, they treat us really well. It's, I couldn't imagine fighting for anyone else. There you have it from the man himself. And I will tell you what, it was a beautiful poster. The, the poster for April 6th looks amazing. Uh, Andrew Stewart, I know you've got to have a copy of tonight's poster. It was a main event that was never coming to fruition, but that was a beautiful poster, man. Hey, it's one of the coolest cool. posters I've seen <laughs> yeah, for sure. Cool. Uh, yeah, it'll always be the one that I didn't get to fight on. Yeah, but well. It's still getting hung up. <laughs> Pleasantries aside, Lance Green has got the answer to who the title will go home with right now. Ladies and gentlemen, following five grueling rounds, this decision has gone to your judges' scorecard. Judge Lisa Doran scores this, 48-47. Harlan Bolton, 49-46. Johnny Stewart, 48-47. All in favor of and for unanimous decision. For your new 